Hello and welcome. Today we will show you how to collect blood using the Zarsted S Monovet and safety needle. In this video we will be introducing you to the more gentle aspiration technique. Please observe the hygiene regulations of your facility. You will need the following items. A tourniquet, single-use gloves, block rack, a safety needle, disinfectant, a multi-safe disposal box, antiseptic swabs, an empty cup, and the S monovets. Apply the tourniquet. For optimum sample quality, the tourniquet should be left on for a maximum of one minute. Examine the veins and select a suitable vein. Disinfect the skin around the chosen puncture site. Remove the safety needle from the packaging. Thanks to the peel-off opening, this can be done without having to touch the safety needle. Connect the first S monovet to the safety needle. To do this, slide the S monovet into the integrated holder and turn it clockwise. After removing the protective cover, hold the safety needle with a needle bevel facing upwards. The needle protector should always be on the right-hand side. Stretch the skin and hold the vein in place. To avoid piercing through the vein, puncture it at a flat angle. Upon successful puncture, blood will begin to flow into the S monovet. Then, gently pull back the plunger. Loosen the tourniquet. To avoid hemolytic samples, gently pull the plunger until it will go no further and wait until the blood flow stops. Rotate the filled S monovet anti-clockwise to remove it from the safety needle. The safety needle will remain in the vein. Now invert the S monovet once and store it in an upright position. Connect the next S monovet to the safety needle. Repeat all the previous steps as for the first S monovet by gently pulling the plunger until it will go no further and wait until the blood flow stops. Remove the S monovet from the safety needle. Invert the filled S monovet once and store it in an upright position. Remove the safety needle and apply pressure with the swab onto the vein. The needle protector can be activated with one hand on a stable surface. The needle engages audibly. Alternatively, you can also activate the needle protector with your index finger. Discard the safely locked safety needle in a sharps disposal box. Pull the S monovet plunger all the way to the end until it audibly clicks into place. Then break it off. Store the correctly labelled sample upright. To avoid the blood clotting, invert the S monovet several times. For all additional samples taken, pull the S monovet plunger all the way to the end until it audibly clicks into place. Then break the plunger off. For the optimal coagulation of the S monovet serum after collection, store these standing upright. So next time, if you follow all the steps in this video, you will ensure a safe and successful blood collection.